These white lamps I saw at a thrift store over 15 years ago. I wasn't really looking for lamps. I thought they were cool and they're glass. It wasn't until I moved into my recent place where somebody pointed out that, hey, they actually may be legitimately old and worth something, and it made me curious ever since. What did you pay for them? Probably no more than $9 each. What part of the country were you when you got them? Uh, back in the Atlanta area. I go to thrift stores all the time just to explore and treasure hunt, but I don't really collect anything particular, and these just stuck out. Who do you think made them? I don't know. There's no sticker. There's no mark. Uh, there's nothing I could find. They're designed by Lisa Johansson Pape. She was Finnish. Mm -hmm. She was born in 1907. She was a pretty great designer um, in terms of uh, decorative arts, but particularly lighting. It's funny because I spoke to a colleague of mine here at the Roadshow, who is a specialist in the period in which these were made, and he said in the 1980s, mm -hmm. these were the modern lamps that people were looking at. Wow. It was just sort of, they were kind of a signature thing. Yeah. She was trained um, at the art, one of the art schools in Helsinki. She actually made lamps, glass lamps during World War II. Mm. And then in the 1950s, she started to collaborate with a very famous company called Itala, which is still in existence today. It's a Finnish company. And as best as I can figure, she probably designed these in about 1954. Mm. And then I think that they were produced as late as 1969. I'd say a circuit date of 1960. They came in two sizes. Mm and yours is the larger size. <laughs> They're in very good shape. It's, you know, it's a, an opaque glass. Are these a, a specific shape for the design? I think that you could probably call them a mushroom. She did other things. There's another, there's a Finnish word for onion. She definitely liked um, a stylized, streamlined fruit and vegetable inspiration. <laughs> these probably did have paper labels on the mm. bottom, and they probably said itala. Because they're the larger size, in a retail venue, these would sell for between anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000. Wow. For the pair or each? For the pair. pair. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a great $20 investment. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. And, you know, they're so, the design is so yeah. interesting that I think already even in the 80s, they were being copied or they were yeah. inspiring other designs. Wow. Wow. That's a great eye. Great eye from... I'm a very good friend.